Hey guys, welcome back to the Kinmoven home. I'm Shara and we're in the Union Building. I've been working on this project since like last November probably. So November 2021, my neighbor uh, Chad came to me and was like, hey, I have this vision for this old building that I own and it was an old elevator union hall. So it was kind of like an office building. It was not a residential space, very much a commercial space, and it was kind of in shambles. And originally when he bought it, he was just gonna make it into kind of a renovated office space for somebody to rent. But then he had this really great idea of making it into an Airbnb. So he brought me in and was like, hey, what do you think? Am I crazy? And would you be interested in designing it? I was like, whoa, you're kind of a little crazy because this place is wild, but also this is super exciting and a really cool challenge to make this very unique space into something that is beautiful, that is cozy, that is fun and vibrant and eclectic, has an urban feel, but also could be a great space to host people in a place that people would actually want to rent on Airbnb. Fast forward to today, we're sitting in a finished, completed, beautiful Airbnb. But before I show you the after and what it looks like now, I feel like we need to go backwards a little bit and we need to see where we started. Now on the design sessions, we're gonna be doing a full deep dive uh, episode, several episodes on this place so you guys can get links and you can get information and um, I can kind of walk you through some of the design details and design decisions that I made. I'll give you a spoiler alert. The place is live. You could, you could come here, you could stay here. You can come to Tulsa, and if you do, we'd love to see you and we would love to meet you. And we'd love for you to stay at the Union. Okay, question of the video today. What is your bucket list place? Like location, vacation location, that you would love to visit in your lifetime? Is it Paris? Is it Spain? Is it the south of France? Sorry if I just hit my microphone. One day you may plan a trip there, you never know. Okay guys, are you ready to see what this place looks like before we beautified it. Let's take a walk down memory lane. Okay, welcome to the Union Hall Airbnb. Come on in. elevator union building that was actually built in the 30s and we are retrofitting it, renovating it, and making it a really cool Airbnb that is super close to downtown Tulsa and also very close to this brand new church studio that was just kind of renovated and brought back to life. If you're familiar with Leon Russell, um, that was his studio that he recorded tons of famous musicians in. So this is going to be an awesome place for bachelor parties, bachelor parties, families to come. And I'm going to show you how we're going to make it a really cozy, fun, exciting environment. So let's see where it's at now and you'll see all the work that we have to do. Come on. So at first glance, it's kind of like insane asylum vibes that you get when you're in here. It's very echoey. It's kind of cold. We got a lot of brick. However, with a little bit of texture, some rugs, some cozy furniture, some great accessories, and of course, curtains, we're gonna transform this space to be awesome. In this room here, it's gonna be the queen uh, bed that's gonna go in this space, so this will be like one or two people could stay in this room. If you back up here, you can actually see these are the original doors that were in this space, which I think are really cool. I think we'll maybe Frost this glass so people have some more privacy. Maybe change the name here to be a cool name for whatever we're gonna name this room. Across the way here, you go into the other bedroom. Now this is gonna be two twin beds are gonna go on either side in here. We have some great plans again to make the space feel really cozy. We've got a great closet, another little door here. This one doesn't have the glass, but you could hang out and have a drink and chit chat with your neighbor across the way, which is fabulous. Coming down here, we've got Jonathan on the ladder. Watch where you step, Angela. Where did all this rock come from? The walls? Really? Yeah. Oh, wow. So, when you walk in here, you've got this awesome 
slatted wall. And then you come in here to the shower room. I've got a big glass sheet that's coming in here with no door, very modern. I've got my brass shower fixtures, a little cutout. We're gonna have a nice big vanity, uh, big mirrors right here, two sconces that are gonna look great. And then over here, we're gonna have a toilet, a vanity with a sink, two sconces, and a mirror. So it's gonna be great. Hector, are you in here? Yes. Oh, wow. <laughs> look at this. He's on stilts. It looks beautiful. Yeah. Muy bonita. Hector's working on the laundry slash utility room. And he likes to laugh. You're a good time, Hector, I can tell. Now, this way, beyond these two doors, double doors, is the main living area. It is like a gymnasium in here. It's huge. So we got a lot of plans for it. I really want this space to be kind of a fun spot to hang. Kind of a fun spot to hang. We're gonna have a really cozy sofa situation right here. We're gonna have a drop-down projector screen so you can watch football games, you can watch movies. And then over here, beyond all of the rubble, this will be another cool sitting area. We're gonna have some sofas, some cool lounge chairs maybe a record player over here. On this side is going to be a dining area. Have a great dining table, some chairs, maybe a buffet. And then over here is gonna be a bar. So we're gonna have a really cool custom bar built right here. In the very center here, we're gonna have a pool table. Play some pool, have a drink, watch the game. It's gonna be very fun. And then over here, we might even get some really fabulous, fancy, games. So Chad, you guys met Chad. Guys, this is Chad. Uh -huh. This is him. He really wanted to have some cool games in here. And I told him if we're going to do ping pong and we're going to do shuffleboard, they're going to be really adorable, like good looking ping pong table. We're not getting a green ping pong table. We're going to get like a wood custom, something really snazzy that looks really great. So they're going to be games that look really awesome, that are fun to play, that are not eyesores, you know? Win-win for everybody, right? Okay, let me show you the kitchen and the master bedroom in the back. On this side, we're gonna have a sink, dishwasher, refrigerator right here, the water heater right here, and we're gonna have maybe a stove situation right there. We're gonna stock it full of dishes and cups and plates and all the things you're gonna need to cook. And then there's, this will actually be a walled partition that'll be closed in. Let's back up all together and let's walk over to the master bedroom on this side. This will be a king size bed back here. We will have a cozy chair, some rugs, some art, some fabulous lighting. It's gonna be great. I love the brick detail and the fact that it's all painted white. I think it looks really awesome. The floors, we're gonna have sandblasted to be concrete floors. And we're gonna bring in a ton of rugs to make the space feel cozy. If you come this way, you'll see the bathroom and the closet. So eventually there won't be a door here, but for now, we can come this way. And this is gonna become something fabulous, believe it or not. I'm thinking seating area, fire pit, all gravel, light color gravel, maybe two parking spots because who doesn't love parking at an Airbnb? A giant umbrella, maybe some cool plants. Just make this like a cool spot to hang, light a fire, have a beer or a glass of champagne and hang out, right? So that is the Union Hall building. This is gonna be an Airbnb that we're working on, partnering with Chad and all of his peeps. And it's so exciting to be in Tulsa and have a fun project like this. I can't wait to show you guys the transformation that's gonna happen in this space over the next few months. We have a long way to go, but we have some great ideas and I can't wait to share it with you. Okay, you guys, that's all I have for you today. I hope that you are so excited about this project. It's weird because I'm or I've already finished it, but you don't know that yet. You haven't seen it yet. Well, if you're on Instagram, you saw it, which by the way, if you want to follow on Instagram, 
I give really good sneak peeks over there, so you should go follow along. But I love being able to show you guys the before and then the after, because you don't really appreciate the after until you've seen the before. Once you know where we started and how far we've come, it makes the space even cooler. And it's just a fun party pad, family friendly, really community oriented space. I just love it. So I'm excited for you to see it. Stay tuned. I do wanna remind you guys, we do have a $25,000 home makeover giveaway. So if you guys are a member of the design sessions, just know every month that you have been a member from January 2022 to December 2022, every month that you've been a member, you've gotten an automatic entry into this giveaway. If you are not a member, it is not too late. You can sign up today. It's $10 a month. I'm gonna put the link below. You have access to so much amazing interior design content, stuff that we don't talk about here on YouTube or on Instagram. It is exclusive to the Design Sessions members. We tell you all the details and all the things um, that you need to know to make your home beautiful. So go check out the Design Sessions. You can download our app. There's a seven day free trial. It is worth it. And a huge perk that's only going on right now through the end of this year is this giveaway. So one of you is gonna win $25,000 towards any room in your home that you wanna make over and you get an hour consultation with my mom and myself to help you with your project. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm excited to bring you along this journey and I will see you next time. Bye. What is my travel destination? I feel like now having a bunch of babies, I would love to go back to uh, Tuscany and just rent a huge villa on a vineyard, have a really cool car, you drive into town, you eat homemade pasta, you get a massage, you go wine tasting, you let your kids run in the field. Doesn't that just sound dreamy? Who wants to come? Let's go on a trip.